them and send them off. Oh, yeah. Another 20. Nice. <laughs> Ontario Toyota Dealers presents Fish TV. It's time to Toyota. With your hosts, Leo Stakos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Brought to you by Ontario Power Generation, powering Ontario's future. Rapala, crafted from experience. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. And Fram, designed by experts, trusted by drivers. There you go, it. see? <laughs> nice fish, dude. That one smashed it, okay, bud. Let me see if there's another one. Yeah, get, get my two bread. It's already there. I am, I you am, see it? I am. Hang yeah. in there. As soon as I switch over to that 13 fishing. There he is, right behind him, right behind him. Where, where, right where? Right there, right there, right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There see him? Is. No, yeah. that's why I hit it so hard. Okay, let me go underneath you there, buddy. Right in the weeds you took me. I missed him. This one's a, this one's a nice fish, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. we started off in the morning. Ooh. I threw a couple casts. And you know what, I thought, I'm going to switch it up because I, I've got a feeling about this. Wow. But I'll tell you what, guys, if this is what it's going to be like. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stockholz. I'm Rod J. And we are on beautiful Kawartha Lakes here. We are on Sturgeon Lake. The other one bit me. No. Oh, I missed it, yeah. My day better not go like that. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. <laughs> well, I got a feeling after you saw me hook one on that 13 fishing, I think you might switch over to that and start putting a beating on them. I hope so. That's a beauty fish right there. Nice fish. Look at, somebody took a chunk out of it right here. Uh, so probably. you know there's some musky around here as well. There's, that's the other good thing. There's musky here. Yeah. There's large mouth, small mouth. There's Beautiful walleye. Beautiful walleye, yeah. But just crushed it because those other fish were there. Wow, and that was the other one behind it. Was, it bit my tube and I missed well, it, dude. Let's see if we can't get another one. Whenever you're throwing jerk baits out here, especially in this shallow flat. Have a tube ready, yeah. Always have a secondary rod ready. Look at that that's thing. Fish, dude. Did you switch back to a twitch bait? Yeah. Don't lose it. Rip and drag, bud. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh that's a nice one, bud. Oh. Nobody with them, though. Oh. Now, I cast it five feet away from you. Why did it go to your bait instead of mine? Because it likes the 13 fishing. All right. You know, you belly it like that, and it just kind of sits there until you grab it like this. And then. It'll go crazy and get in my leg, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice fish right you there. You want the pliers, bud? No, I'm good, thanks. I'll tell you the one good thing that's cool about the Kawartha Lakes, Ron. You know, it's home to over 250 lakes and rivers. Like, like there's so much to fish in this area. And there's the proof right there. Look at how fat that fish is. That's perfect. He just crushed it. Yeah, I love the Kawartha Lakes. They have been brought up here my whole life. Yeah, there, there's definitely a lot of history here. Absolutely. Yeah. You know that they have more houseboat rentals than anywhere in the world? No, nope. anywhere in Ontario. Everything is just like coming up in the Kawartha Lake. They're getting all the historic buildings redone. They've got a great golf course here in the Kawartha Lake region here. Just a place to come for families. There's campgrounds everywhere. I mean, there's lodges everywhere. And it's almost my backyard. Well, I mean, that's what I like. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you know, today we're on Sturgeon Lake and it actually borders there's so much to do in the area. Like you got Lindsay, you got Bob Cajun, you got Felon Falls. Bob Cajun is famous, right? Yeah, you know that. Yeah, for, for that song from the Tragic La Hip, that's exactly. right. Exactly. High-end bands from all over the world that are probably the best in the world sing about Bob Cajun. They got everything there, man. I love it. I love the fishing more than anything. <laughs> oh, tick, 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 and then nothing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You there we go. There we go. That's one. Whoa, oh, what happened there? There's one. Another one with it. Is it? Yeah. Is there another one there, bud? There was. There we go. That's the way. There we go. Mama. A better fish there. Nice. All right. Well, this guy's going nutso here. Nice fish. He's not that happy, bud. Nice fish. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That'll get you. I'll tell you what the best thing is when you hook onto a fish and you're able to. Click onto that anchor mode here on the Garmin Force. We're just standing still. So Ron's retying. I haven't left my spot, and we're going to catch another one. Yeah, that's 
that is quite the feature on that trolling motor. You know what else I like about that trolling motor? The assist, where you lift oh, it. Oh, yeah. You know how a lot of trolling motors are so heavy to lift up and so heavy to put down? It's very intuitive. When you disengage it, it knows to turn the head of the motor, yeah. so it automatically puts it in the correct position, which is really cool. Saves you a lot of time trying to flip that all the time. I gotta oh, see nice. if there's anybody with them, but a little spunker. Look at them. Come on, fella. Come on. Just got them. A one hook. Look at that. Got him. You like salad and jigs, this one. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, look at these guys jump, jump man. <laughs> oh, spitting stuff out, too. Yeah, this guy was alone this time. Yeah. This has come up and real. I love this, man. I'm telling you. I fished here how many times, and I'm going to say it again and over and over again. There is nothing better than fishing the Kawartha Lakes. No. Nope. People don't realize there's over 250 lakes and rivers around the Kawartha Lakes. And they're like, full of fish. Stocked, like just yeah. everywhere. And constantly, they're, they're always doing new programs. They're always doing new new tourism initiatives. Oh, is that? It's 90 minutes from Toronto. Yeah, yeah, 90 minutes northeast of Toronto. Where can you go that close? World-class fishing. And have and have a blast and just catch fish after fish. Yeah. I'm just downright excited. Maybe we'll go hit some largemouth later. Well, I think we're gonna hit everything. Well, well, you're right. We keep fishing and having fun with these. I right? know, it's hard to leave. I don't know if we will leave. You know that you're in a beautiful area when you see a bald eagle. It's an osprey. It's a bald eagle, but it's an osprey with a white head. That's kind of completely. Oh, this one. Look at this guy. Got a good one. Oh yeah, right off that little shoal there. Right when we were arguing about whether it's an osprey or an eagle. Of course, it's an osprey. <laughs> Yeah, you see the brown down the side of it? A bald eagle's got a complete white head. That's got a brown... I still think that's an eagle. Now, I'm not a bird expert, but I am a smallmouth expert right now. But I am. <laughs> no spray. All right. Right on a one hook. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Throw it to the osprey, not the bald eagle, because the bald eagle's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a bald eagle. We're going to go over there, and you're going to watch it take off. That is an osprey. I guarantee it. Hear it? Yeah. That's an osprey. That's an eagle. That's an osprey. <laughs> That's an osprey call there, right there, buddy. That is an osprey eagle. <laughs> it's now time for the Ontario Toyota Dealers Tackle Box. Let's take a minute out of the action and show you exactly what we're using today. I tell you what, in the morning we had a good top water bite on the smallmouth. This dual pitch 13 fishing 94 lure walks the dog and worked really well. And of course, the traditional X pop always works. The real killer was this 13 fishing twitch bait. This is a local 110. The purple back and the silver and the white belly seem to be a key out here for smallmouth. Now we're throwing on a 6-7 medium heavy action rod with 20 pound rated SUPX 832, but the key was this fluorocarbon leader. Again, 12 pound to 14 pound is really good. You want to use that for a leader line and you want to twitch, twitch, twitch. If you bring this stuff to the fourth of the lakes, you're going to catch them just like we are right now. So let's get back to that Fish TV action. We notice that they turn on when the traffic gets going. Well, it drives them out of the river, right? Oh, right there. If I can get my jig through there. Hold on. Got him. He's got him. <laughs> the old one, too. Nice fish, bud. Oh, yeah. I love it when that happens. I get the boil, you pitch in there. Oh, that fish. He's a, he's a hunky one. I told you, you threw exactly where it was, bud. Ooh. He likes salad and jigs, this one. Oh, he was pretty aggressive. Oh, like ate it. Oh, there. There are so many minnows swimming around here, Ron. It's largemouth. Now we switched up, left the smallmouth, and we came all the way to the other end of Goose Bay. There, I'll let that fish go. Where we've known that we've caught big fish in this junk, and we love junk fishing, you know that.
Oh my God. Why well, you gotta boil it? He, he's got it. He's oh, swimming with it. Oh, he he was swimming with it, but. <laughs> I know he was. I, I didn't know, but at first. <laughs> he went that way, and then he went that way. Oh, I thought it was a tank. It's a oh, good he's fish. a good one, bud. I chucked in, and he boiled on it. I didn't know if he had it. And he was swimming right and left. That's a nice, that's a nice three pounder there, buddy. A good one. <sighs> oh, look. Just got him on the skin. Look at Josh. No. Got him. That's a good one right there. Nice. Worth the Lake's special largemouth right there. There he goes. Oh, he went left, he went right. Oh, he was all over it. I should have lost that fish by rights. <laughs> oh, Look at that baby, baby. Look at that baby, baby. Good one. Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. These jerk bait hooks are deadly. There we go. Nice little fish. There we go. The local, the local special. Oh, there we go. Yeah, big good fish. One too. Big fish. Yeah, good fish. There you go, buddy. After you hit the dinner bell too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at that baby, baby. Look at that baby, baby. Oh, yeah. Good job. Now that Whoa. is what we came in here for. You just missed one too? No, I don't think so. You know what? That fish just came flying out of there. I actually hit the side and you heard a ding. You know, this was a last minute thing. We said, let's just go in here <laughs> and flip some of these docks. And sure enough, first boat we flipped to. Good one. Nice chunky fish right there. Look at this. Look at the top of his head. Oh, yeah. I'm banged it there. Yeah. You know what? We're trying to get people back to the Kawarthas. If you go to the website, explorekawarthas.com, it'll give you all the information. The key right now is not just to get the people outside of Ontario, but to get the people and the locals in the area to rediscover the Kawarthas. Because you know what? The Kawartha Lakes is just absolutely incredible. Oh, yeah. Incredible fishing. Oh. Off the end boat. Not a big one, but it's a good one. Right off the end boat. As soon as I put it in there. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? What are you fishing there for? You're not going to catch them this time of year. Nice fish. Oh, nice. There's a good one. Nice fish, Scotty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Oh, he's a good one too. Fish, yeah. <laughs> and I just cast it over there. I seen him. He tried to eat this. I love it when they get into that stuff. All right. Oh. All right. You, you knew you knew you were gonna get oh. that one, Ronnie. As soon as that boil happened. Yeah. As soon as it got on the pad, it just wandered the jig, and I let it down, shook it once, and he come right over and hit it. Nice. The crazy thing is he didn't he didn't explode on, on my frog at all. I knew you were gonna get that fish run that as soon as I saw that boil yeah. and your jig on top of the pad, I, once it dropped in, I knew it was gonna be all over it. That's two that have done that. Two yeah, but I don't understand. I, I threw my frog right over top of that. You landed on the pad too. Well, you might have got him going. Yeah, maybe. Could have been. With this sand grass, I like pitching this jig. Underneath the pads, there's holes. You can see the black holes. We got the Garmin going through it pretty good, but most trolling motors choke right up on this stuff and you can't really get in there. It's now time for the Garmin Force Tip of the Week. You wanna get in the boat? Hey folks, Leo Stockers here with the Tip of the Week. You know what? As you can see from behind here, we're towing somebody into safety. We saw that the boat was being stranded there. There was a canoe trying to paddle it. Nobody was stopping. That really makes us upset. Not only is it unethical, but it's also the law. If you see someone in distress, please stop and at least ask if they need help. And if they do, take them to shore and let's play it safe. That's a good one. Oh my goodness. Oh, I lost it. No, that was a five pounder. Come on. That was a five pounder, bud. Seriously? That was a five pounder. <laughs> I lost it. Holy mackerel. Tell your grandkids a story one day. <laughs> oh, there you go, buddy. Yep. Like I said, you're going to be telling your grandkids about this story. Get out of the weeds. That one. 
Ooh. Oh, I know you thought it was smaller at first. I, didn't I did. You? All right, I don't think his buddy's here. I'll see if I can't get another one here. Just another fourth of lake small. <laughs> you, actually thought, you actually thought he was smaller, didn't you? Pretty heavy. I nice, knew he was a bigger fish. Nice colors. I like those bars down there. I've been eating here. I just lost a big one on the top water, like a giant. Why do we always lose the giant? Oh, you're gonna tell your grandkids about this story. They like this dual pitch 94 the 13 fishing. It just walks a dog like this. You just do it nice and slow. It's got a real thump rattle to it and it spurts the water. Sounds like a dead. Wait, what's it do, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope it does that all day long. That's what I hope. There we go, oh, good one too. Oh yeah. Let's see it now for a minute. There's gotta be somebody with him. Remember I told you something came up just Slowly. Nobody's with him. Good ticket to be ready, though. I set the hook twice, anyways, though, because he didn't. He didn't actually come up and smash the bait. He actually came up, made a tiny little boil, and then came up, made another little boil. You need a hand? No, he's okay, buddy. No, nope. he's gonna come in right now. You. There you go. It was bigger there than I thought it was. There we go. Got the rappler grips here. Nope. Oh, I almost got that right in the mouth, guys. No. <laughs> it popped right in my mouth. That fish just came up. It just, a little tiny bloop. Yeah. And I thought, oh, there's something there. And then I give it another little shot, and there he was again. You're right. eating good here. See you later. See you later, buddy. See that? Just sucked it down, bud. <laughs> Try it. Oh, oh my gosh, you're gonna get the nut for this one. <laughs> Going back on our track mark. Yeah, but that's when we drove into. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the heck do I got here, guys? Is it a big one? I don't know. It hasn't come up yet. Oh, oh yeah. A good one, bud. Okay, look for the grab a tube. Oh, come on, baby. There's nothing with it. I gotta get the net. Come on, baby. I don't know if we'll need the net, but oh, we'll yeah, see. Oh, yeah, you do. That one just stooped it. Oh, there you go. There you go, buddy. Hold like that for a minute. I'm gonna. All right. There we go. Grab Thank him. you, sir. Grab him. Yeah. yeah, just swiped at it. Look at that. There's a fatty. <laughs> There's a fatty. Oh, man. We moved out here a little bit. Now we're in about seven to eight feet of water. And we're just like sporadic weeds. And these fish are just chowing down. Nice. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Go worth the legs. All these lakes, sturgeon, balsam, scugog, cameron. Balsam, yeah. They've all got giant fish like this, and it's just like, like, I just finished saying to Ron and Nick, I love my job. I really do. I, every single day, I, I wake up, I feel blessed. I, I really do, and I love sharing it with you guys, so I'm going to share some more and catch another one. That's a nice fat one there. Oh, buddy. yeah, it's a good fish. Out there here. Go, just throw it out to that sand. Yeah. See if he comes over there. You're right, though. He wanted nothing to do with it. No. Nope. There we go. Until he, until he bit it. We knew it wasn't a giant fish, but it was really cool in this clear water. Ron spotted that fish and I grabbed the tube quickly. <laughs> Not a bad fish oh, yeah, either. Wow. I thought it was smaller than nice. that. I would have grabbed the tube. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's right out of the corner of the mouth there. Perfect. Yeah, there, eh? Ah, look at that. It's, it's, it's so cool. There's like yellow sand, <laughs> big boulders. Ron goes, hey, look at that small mouth. So I jumped up, grabbed the tube. I love the one-two punch there like that. Just a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. All right, see you later. See if I can spot you another one. Yeah, do that again. I like that. That's why you're throwing the X pop right there. Oh, I lost him. Oh, no, come on. Oh, yeah. And I hit it right away. Big one, too. Yeah. And I hit it right away, too. Big fish, anyway. I don't know if it was that big. It was just a big, that was just a big commotion. Big enough for a camera fish. Like that. 
just sucked like, it down, bud. <laughs> I did no boil, no nothing. Look oh. at the size of this pig. Oh my gosh, Mike. <laughs> this is a giant. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get the nut for this one. <laughs> did you see him? He just sucked it down. Oh my gosh, but I'm not even gonna let you fight this guy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get him in. Oh, wait, wait. I, I got no choice. I can't. Oh, it's a cow. Get him in, get him in. Oh, oh get him, Leo. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Ow. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. <laughs> well, I lost one probably this size because I seen it jump out of the water. The good Lord took care of me and gave me another treat. Am I ever glad, dude, that we came back here? Oh. We decided the sun's going down. Let's go back to that first spot because yeah. the sun's coming down, low light conditions. I think there's going to be some bigger fish there. Sure enough, there you go right there, buddy. Wow, look at that tank. You got to come out here, guys, to the Kawartha Lakes. 250 lakes and rivers all around the Kawartha Lake area. There's cool. Bob Cajun, Fennel Falls, lots to do around here. Until next time, I'm Leo Stockos. I'm Rod James. We will see you next time again on the Kawarthas. Bye-bye, everyone. Look at that giant buddy. Oh, yeah, man. Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience, Mercury, go boldly, and Hill Street Beverages.